What's this? Where'd you get this from? Um, Foco. Foco? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what about it? <laughs> struggling under the pressure. Let's try again. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome back to another match day vlog. But it's the first one of the new season under Enzo Maresca. We are playing Inter Milan. And I am feeling good. I'm also thirsty. Thank you very much, Rach. This is very nice. Where did you get this mug from? Foco. Foco, what's that? Um, just a website where you can get lots of Chelsea merch, mugs, shirts, garden gnomes, flags. Rachel knows, fair enough. Um, yeah, if you haven't already checked out Foco, bit of Foco gear here. I'm also wearing a Foco shirt. It is summer, so I've got the Hawaiian shirt out as well. Click the link down below and use the code CFTV15 for 15% off everything in their store. And there's a QR code on screen as well, so you can uh, you can use that as well. But listen, guys, I'm feeling excited. Let's get into it. Right, guys, I'm here with Charlie outside Connor Kai. Um, listen, the lineups are out, Charlie. We've got Sanchez in goal, Gusto Fafana, Colwell, Kukurea at the back, Lavia, Drewsbury Hall, Enzo, Madueke, Mudrik, and Giu up front. What are your thoughts, my friend? Yeah, it's all right, you know. I'm pleased to see uh, Kukurea back in the side. Obviously, uh, he's been missing for, for the pre season. Him and Brent from the left is going to be crucial for us this season. Lavia, he's been brilliant in pre season for us. Good to see him again. Drewsbury Hall, I think I'm looking forward to seeing him. Enzo, captain. Uh, and it's a, it's a big day for the front three because Guy potentially playing for a short-term feature at the club. Madueke has been a bright spark. Obviously Neto coming in, the likes of Mudrik and him need to up their game as well. Mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to just seeing us in the flesh for the first time. And, yeah, so hopefully we get some ball brilliance going. Do you, think, um, do you think Drewsbury Hall is an upgrade on Gallagher? Because uh, I, I think in this system he is, but generally speaking... If we had what we had last season, I wouldn't say that's the case. No, I wouldn't say that's the case if it was last season, but I think technically he's better, better he's more creative, got an eye for goal, um, and he suits the system. That's that's the most important thing. At the moment, like for me, rather than names, I'm about profiles. If you suit the system, come on in. Um, and he knows it inside out. So yeah, I think I think he'll actually slot into his Chelsea team quite well. Thank you very much, my friend. All good, bye. Idea. I like the link up, good ball in. Is that a gear as well? We're at the, the last shot. Chelsea! Chelsea! It's good to be back. Yeah, good to be back. You know, one thing I love about Giyu, he gets stuck in. He really gets stuck in. So we all expected really, so as far as I'm concerned, get it out of the way in pre-season and then uh, when the season starts, we can have a different conversation. But that was not good defending at all.
my goodness, what a passage of play. But with Manoway takes to Enzo. On the outside, whips it in. Gyu! Oh! Three sets to cook around. Come on, lad! Come on! Hello everyone, half time, what do I think about what I've seen, uh, it's been average at best, not great, we've had a couple of chances, Juice be all had the best of the lot, uh, Giyu could have potentially scored as well and there was a couple of, there was one or two appeals for a penalty, um, yeah, very underwhelming. Our defence has been shocking, just like it has been the whole of pre-season. But honestly, I look at this and I try and take it with a pinch of salt. It's pre-season, get the mistakes out of the way, and then we we'll see what happens. Pedro Net has been presented to Stamford Bridge as well, so welcome, welcome to uh, Chelsea, Pedro. And uh, listen, we'll see what happens, but. Ultimately, I'm just going to look at the way we play. Can we create more chances and still keep Inter at bay? They've looked very dangerous on the counter. Um, so that is the biggest threat on their side. Nice to see um, Palmer back in the team. He's just got such a presence, doesn't he? Jackson back as well today is going to take him a little bit of time to uh, to adapt to the system. Set piece. They tried to defend 
Chelsea won, Inter Milan won. Um, nice little late equaliser by Uga Chukwu. Honestly, I think that we deserved at least one goal. We did have chances, not many. Um, and we got there in the end, so I think that's a fair point. But having said that, I think everyone can agree that we didn't see anything special in that match. We've got plenty to work on. So, um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not really filled with confidence going into the Man City game. But what I do see is a clear system we're trying to implement on the ball. I don't understand why fans are impatient when we're trying to retain possession. Um, that takes time. You know, these, these patterns of plays and everything that Moresca is trying to teach these players, it's not going to work straight away. This is Palmer's first game. This is uh, Jackson's first game back. There's a number of players. So... I think I think we do need to be a little bit more patient in that sense. But having said that, defensively, uh, when you bring on players like Baddy Ashil, if we end up conceding goals, then you've got to blame the manager, but also the board, because you've got Chalaba there. So that's the question. Um, but we're not going to bring Chalaba back. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. 